The holidays are traditionally a time for family. Let me tell you about ours. The Mali family of mobile GPUs has evolved over time, as we've added new features and increased capabilities. And just like our own families, each new generation behaves slightly differently. Around 50% of smartphones across the world use a Mali GPU. So if you want your game to perform well on a wide range of devices, you need to know how the different specs might affect performance. Launched way back in 2006 with the Mali 200 GPU, Utgard was the first Mali architecture with a programmable core. Many of the design choices we made then are still used in later architectures. Shader cores operate on the same 16 by 16 pixel tiles, and the cores are still designed to use a tile-based approach to keep very low-cost blending and multi-sampling. Launched in 2012, our Midgar architecture is widely found in entry-level smartphones across the world. Midgar introduced many of the technologies that are still found in later designs. Hidden surface removal, which we call forward pixel kill, helps to optimize away occluded fragments. ASTC texture compression gives high quality and low bandwidth lossy texture compression for content artists. And AFPC gives high quality lossless frame buffer compression, plus it integrates with other multimedia accelerators on the chip, such as video decoders. In 2017, we launched the Bifrost architecture, which enables high-end mobile GPUs to meet the needs of modern use cases such as VR and high-fidelity gaming. All Bifer CPUs use warp shader cores, executing multiple shader threads in lockstep, which gives improved arithmetic energy efficiency. We also introduced index-driven vertex shading, an approach which splits vertex shaders so only position calculation is done before primitive cutting. Everything else is done later, when we know the primitive is visible on the screen. Later Bifer CPUs even move to using larger shader cores, doubling the performance of each core and rebalancing the design, which gave considerable efficiency gains. In 2020, we launched the Valve architecture, which represents a big leap in performance and energy efficiency. There's a new instruction set, wider warps, and more concurrent threads to drive up the efficiency of the shader core. The cores also have faster texture filtering, doubling to four bilinear samples per clock to support the use of trilinear or anisotropic filtering for better image quality. All this makes our latest Mali GPUs ideal for graphically intensive applications, from advanced mobile gaming through to mixed and augmented reality. Here's a gift that will keep on giving. Download our Mali GPU datasheet from the ARM developer website to get all the key statistics at your fingertips. Thanks for watching and enjoy your festive holiday.